Hello everyone, welcome back by Hobbs Recording. Today we're gonna learn what variables are. So, a variable, you have to create a variable and afterwards initialize or give it a value. So, how do we declare or create a variable? So, first of all, I made a basic program, uh, not really a program, just some text. So, we create a variable by doing a type and a number. So, create it, a data type, and a name. That's how we do it. It can be a byte or an int. Like in the previous tutorial, if you didn't watch it, go check it out. I explained the data types right there. So you can do all the data types you want in it. Of course, I used number one right there. It's coming to nine, like that. Um, now you declared it. You made it. You, the computer reserved a spot in your computer with the number nine, and you can place a value in that spot. So, like saying, I'm gonna delete the byte for a second. So, we create a number value. It's called number. Um, now we're gonna give it a value. So you go to number and you say number is equals to 10. So now in the same spot at your computer, if you want to ask for a number, the computer is going to search your computer for the variable number and it's going to see, oh, it's 10. So it's going to return 10 to your Java program and yeah, that's how it do. So this can be do a lot easier. So now we're using two lines actually. It's creating and initializing it. So you can create and uh, give it a value in the same line, like saying a data type, a number, is equals to a value. Of course, an uh, integer is uh, a number. Of course, a char or a boolean is something else. A boolean is true or false. That's just a previous tutorial. So what if you want to create more multiple variables? So yeah, that's you can do that too in one line too. So you just say int num1 and num2, for example. So now you create two integers in the same line. You can create multiple uh, different data types in one. And you can say, you cannot say int num1 and then share num2. That's not how it works. So it's done like this. So if you want to declare them and give them a value in the same line, you just do the same stuff. You just put behind this is equals to 1 and by this is equals to 2 like here um, um, variables can be changed of course there that's why they called variables like we called number at top it's 10 now I call it 15 but there are always also other variables not really variables but it's called constant constant is a number which doesn't change the whole program so you say it in the start and you can change it afterwards this is actually made to prevent making mistakes if you want to change it by accident it's gonna give an error how you do that it's just the same like a data type a name and a value remember the f to to type cost to float type costing will be in the next tutorials um so yeah that's actually the basic declaration but we're gonna put final in front of it what does final do it says it's a final number actually it's you you can change it it's a final so a constant can be changed if you're trying to change later in your program like pi is five or this it will give an error it will say the final location variable cannot be assigned because it's a final. Like see, you can resolve the error by remove the final modifier of pi right here. Don't want that. So place it back in comments. Um, yeah, we're gonna make a basic program right now. I'm gonna make. I made a new Java file for that. A variables test. So what you're basically going to do is calculate the area of a square or something. So let's say we make two variables. We're going to make a int length and a width. 
Oh, I misspelled that big time. But come on. Like that. So you're going to say the length is equal to 5 and the width is equal to 3. So now we got two different things we can do. We can do it like this to print out area system dot out dot print line. Don't forget the semicolon at the end of a comment. Same for variables, always a semicolon after each comment at want to do at one time. So we can do like this number. The area is oh, I'm just gonna do it like that. The area is and now we can do like plus in between uh brackets. Yeah. Not the bracket, the braces. So we're gonna do length multiplied by width. So yeah, that's basically how we do it. It will always ex execute this first. So it's gonna do five multiplied by three, which is fifteen, and it's gonna print that the area is the area is fifteen. But we can do it all. You can do it another way. By creating another variable like int area, you don't want to initialize it. You can do it if you want, like a zero, it will change out anyway. So just copy paste this to be quicker. So the area is area. If you want to do it like that, you can say the area is the area, but you have to calculate the area before. So we're gonna do area is equal to 5 multiplied by 3. I know, not like that. We don't want constants. Like that. Don't forget the semicolon. And like that. So yeah, what it's going to do now is going to create a length of it. It's going to go give the value 5, 5 to the length and 3 to the width. And then we're going to create another variable. No. Uh, area and gonna initialize it to zero. Then afterwards that you're gonna say the area variable is equal to the length multiplied by the width. And then we're gonna print them out. So let's run this program. Let's save it and run it. It's gonna say the area is 15 and 15. It's just the same. So let's say we want a final. So we don't want it. So we're gonna just do it like that, and we're gonna do final int length. I'm gonna declare it in the same line now. You can see Java is already giving errors because he can't find the variable length. So oh uh, yeah, you can find it, but it's not initialized. So if the final always use uh, big letters. Um, capitals. That's because the readable of the the constants. You know, it's pretty quick in the in the program if it's a constant or not. Like say it's ten. Of course, you have to change it here because it's uh, capitals like that. If you want to run it now, it's just going to say the same. It's thirty. Perfect. Um, yeah, that's about it in this tutorial. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Like and subscribe. Bye.